What is up guys, Tomcat here, and today we're back in Forza Horizon 3 Hot Wheels, and in this episode we're going to be finding the barn find. Now we've got the general area of where it's at, you know, kind of located, but all we need to do, actually at this point, is turn around um, and head over that way, see if we can find it, and um, and once we find it, we, we I mean, we know what it is, but it'll, it'll be nice to actually finally get it, get a hold of it. Um, and have it in our garage so we can customize it, we can play around with it, we can race it. And uh, we're also in a trail cat, by the way, which is the perfect vehicle for exploring. This thing is so good off-road. Um, I'm actually thinking about making an off-road episode with this uh, particular Jeep because it's, like I said, it's so good off-road. Like, it is absolutely insane. Uh, like, going through the woods, going over rocks, just an absolutely crazy off-road vehicle. So, let's begin our search. Now, honestly, I mean, it could be near the road, but I'm going to kind of get all the other all the other areas that aren't near the road kind of out of the way first. And by the way, that's a pretty steep grade, and this thing just handled it no problem at all. It's also harder to find it at night because there's no light out here in the woods. The only light uh, is, is actually your light bar and your headlights, which is the other reason why I brought this thing. God, where are you at? Well, here's an XP board. Perfect. Yeah, I'm looking for it, Anna. Thank you very much. Oh, I've leveled up. So we can get a thing. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, so not bad. Yeah, not bad. Alright, still looking, though. Hmm. Oh, there's a chance it could be down on the beach, too. That's another possibility, considering of what... Like, especially considering what it is. There's a chance they could have set it down on the beach. And thank God the sun is coming up. Oh my God, dude. Like, that that makes so much... Like, that makes such a difference. We can actually see somewhat far ahead. Excuse me, I didn't realize that was there. I was like, oh, yep, that's a tree. Those are boosters. I saw them out of the corner of my eye. And I was thinking it was maybe like... Like, I don't know, like one of those barns or cabins or something. But not yet. Wait a minute. There's something out there. What is that? Oh, never mind. That's just the base of, like... That's just the base of one of the tracks. What I'm trying to do is go around the edge first. And, oh, wow. That counts as actually driving that track. That's hilarious. But, yeah. I'm trying to go around the edges first and just see if I can, like, see what I can find. See what's around the edges of the, um, of that area. And if it's not around the edges, then I'll go, uh, more to the inside. But... Mmm, there's no way it's out there. Wow. God, I'm just hitting everything in this episode. What the hell is going on? Yeah, it's not out there because that's all water and track and stuff like that. Ooh, this thing loves to roll over. It really does. I mean, how are you going to have... See, see, that's the thing is it's fully built as well. Mine is fully built. So how are you going to have a 1,000 horsepower plus Jeep on like 40s? And not have it like to roll over. I don't know. That's that. That's kind of uh, eh, that's a little bit of a thing. Where are you at then? God, this is. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Damn. I'm confused now because I've gone around pretty much the whole perimeter, and at this point, I'm just trying to get a handle on where this barn actually is. I haven't been, I haven't been over here, which I haven't been like all the way down near the water over here. Oh, oh, I found it. Yes, I found it. I've got it. I found the thing. Come on. There you go. Keep calm and do the thing and you'll find it. This is going to be legit. God, I was really worried the game was going to freeze there. Oh my God. I was so concerned about it. To keep our classic car models Dude, okay. That's legit. That's cool. Look at that. That's old. That's ancient. It's a Ford Deluxe, the coupe, I think. 1930 something. And to think, now we drive through the sky on roads made of orange plastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. We'll definitely be getting that thing out on these orange plastic roads soon. So. 
Now, I think what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably, since we've got the barn find, while uh, Warren's preparing the barn find, I'm going to go uh, complete some more races. One of these, uh, one of them being an S1 class race, and I'm going to use a car that I, I'm going to go through my S1 cars and pick whichever one has the most grip, uh, because let's see, finish the race, win the race, one Hot Wheels air skill? What? That's going to be hilariously easy. Like, oh my god, that's going to be stupid easy. Alright, oh, that, oh my god, okay. Eh, or the art, uh, I don't know how the RJ Pro Truck would do, to be honest. But I do think, for one, that the uh, that my Viper is going to dominate. Like, my 2013 GTS. This car, I pretty much made from the ground up just for S1 class. However, I made it for S1 class, like, on pavement and, uh, and on things not related to, uh, you know, to Hot Wheels. So, it might do well, it might do okay-ish, but hopefully it does pretty well, I think. Or it will do pretty well, I think. Come on, synchronize those Dravatars, boy. Oh, yeah. We're synchronized and ready to go. Now, actually, if you guys follow my Instagram, I made a post on my Instagram page earlier today. Or, well, actually, when you're watching this video, it will have been yesterday. Uh, but I made a post over there saying that the, uh, I was a picture of the S2000, uh, saying that that was the last picture you would see of its stock. And so, basically, there's a bunch of things on the way for my S2000. A set of Olin's coilovers, Advan RZ2 wheels. I've already got the R888R tires, uh, sitting over at the shop. And so, we're, uh, we're about ready to put, put that stuff on. So, I'm, ooh, I think, if I'm not, if, if I'm not mistaken, it, we should be ready to put everything on the car next week. Oh, God. Well, that went interestingly. The Viper turns in a little bit better than I had anticipated it would. It's got a little bit more grip than I thought it would have, too. It's also nice and adjustable, too. Like, under throttle and braking. Ooh, dab of brakes. Wow, there was no braking line there. Damn. It's a little odd. All right, come on, Mr. Twin Mill Slap Train. Out of the way, boy. Oh god, I tried to outbreak the everybody and it didn't go well. <laughs> it didn't it doesn't usually go well when you break like a mile later than everybody else. Oh god, okay, yeah, way too far on the inside. Come on, I know we've got a couple more laps that we can use to get, you know, to get up to first, but damn. Although I will say that the long gears of the Viper are going to make it perfect for these boosters. Come on! Come on, God, I love these sections. They're so crazy. No! No, God. I was focusing on the fact that he was next to me and not the fact that I had to break. Should probably focus on the fact that I had to break. There, that view's better. Come on, come on, come on, roll in the power. There we go. Around the twin mill, come on! Kind of blocked him from the inside, but as long as, like, you can block without hitting him, and that's totally clean. Hey! Hey! Boy! Not cool. What? Boy! What are you doing? This section, I still don't have it down. Like, for some reason, the AI, all, or the Drivatars, I keep calling them AI for some reason. The Drivatars always, always pass me there. They always pass me there, and I'm not sure why. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. I need to hit that straight ahead, like, straight on if I want to get, if I want to actually land it. Oh, yes. Oh, it didn't count because I rewound, though. I mean, I got a couple more laps, so it'll be fine. Hello, hello, hello. God, that counted as an airborne pass. I was airborne for maybe, like, a second, but still... I guess if it counts, it counts, right? There she goes! Oh god. You know what's funny is that Drivatar in the Camaro, the guy actually owns a Mustang, and I find it hilarious uh, that it put his Drivatar in a Camaro instead of a Mustang. I went too far to the inside again. I need to, like, oh my god, I need to not do that. Because it completely upsets the car. Excuse me. Not, nope, nope, not cool, nope. Come 
And up to sixth. Using the boost to my advantage. Using my long gearing to my advantage. Like, damn, goodbye, BAC Mono. Go, 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 go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There she goes. All right, top three in sight. Let's do it. I do not freaking understand how everybody is passing me here. Like, I, I, am, I am constantly getting passed on this section. Every single time I run it, and it just means I gotta practice it more. But there's something I'm doing there that does not lend itself to a faster lap time. Hello! Go, 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 go! Loop done! About to hit that skill. Oh my god! Are you freaking serious? Oh my god, are you serious? That kind of bothers me, actually, because I, I would have had that skill. Oh, hello, people. What up? Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, the, those bumps really screwed with me. Stay in the power. Come on. Oh, there it is. Keep running wide on that corner. The car gets light at the top of the hill. There it is. It's a vet out front. I did not expect that. I expected something a lot crazier, but I guess it, it sometimes works. Oh, I braked way too late. Yep. <laughs> That corner's really hard to time. And I think also because this is like my warm-up race of this morning, like it's not gonna be as solid as, as you know, as races later in the day that I will have really warmed up to. This is like my warm-up race of the day, so uh, like early in the morning, sometimes I have to rewind a little bit more than usual. Stay in it, stay in it, stay in it, stay ahead. Okay, yep, no, stop looking behind you. That's your that's your first mistake. Get out of this hyperloop. Power out of the turn. Little dab of brakes. Oh, there we go. That's balanced. That's balanced. This part's going to be crazy because I know for a fact that they're going to catch up to me here. Uh, I just need to figure out a way to hold them off. Like, see, oh my god, they roar up on me. They're finding extra speed somewhere, and I don't know where. It's it's crazy. Somewhere, that like, everybody is finding a bunch of extra speed. How do you find that much extra speed on the, um, like, on this corkscrew section? Like, I don't get it, because it's not even dependent on their line, because... You can take, you can stay down low and apparently get it. You can go up the outside and apparently get it. It's like, it doesn't matter what line you take. It's just like, oh, by the way, we're faster here. And it doesn't matter what car I'm in either. Usually it's just like all the AI is faster around this spiral section. It's so weird. God, that's so weird. I don't know if I can regain first by the time we get to the line, but I'm going to try. Stay in it. Oh, God. Stay in it. No. For God's sake. Mm, I had to rewind. It was either rewind and lose the jump bonus or give up first place. And I wasn't going to give up first place. Oh, no. I got it. There's a pass. Oh, second. Come on. Damn, it was close, though. It was really close. I need to do one more race, I think, in this episode. We'll get one more race out of the way uh, and get another, hopefully, another win. What are we going to get? Come on, what are we going to get? Okay, not bad. It's a decent bonus. Yeah, it, I hate how even if you get the skill, it doesn't matter. 
Like, even if you get the skill, it doesn't matter if you get the skill if you don't win. Like, that's the only thing that I'm, like, iffy on. But it kind of, it kind of promotes the idea of not even thinking about the skill until you get up to first and then thinking about it. Uh, which makes more sense, but... Title Teeth Circuit. Well, let's get this under control. This sounds like fun. Debating on whether or not to switch to something else. I might switch to the Huracan and see how it does. Because uh, I'm kind of still getting familiar with how the cars respond to the tracks. Um, let's see, earn 40,000 skill points? Damn. Oh, okay, we got different. We can, we can change how we want to. Uh, we can do the stunt swap. You know what? I'm going to do the stunt swap, and we're going to do... Let's see. Boost jump. Stunt one. Stunt two will be... Stunt two will be a loop. Yeah, stunt two will be a loop. And it should be good. Stunt two will be a loop, and then uh, stunt one will be a jump. All right, perfect. So... Uh, time to give this a shot in the Huracan Horizon Edition. And actually, it'll be interesting because it's also a skills boost car. Not that that's going to make that much of a difference. But, um, I actually haven't really driven any all-wheel drive cars on these tracks either. I assume they'll respond the same way they do everywhere else. Just, you know, they're going to have a little bit more grip on corner exit, a little bit more grip off launch. Um, but, uh, but I don't know. It should make, it should be an interesting exercise in seeing how they do on the Hot Wheels tracks. All right. Come on, Huracan. Gets out of the hole like a rocket. I mean, it should, though. Oh, I was hoping it would, like, it would count it if I went... No! Okay, that's... That sucks. Okay, fine. I'll restart. Jeez. I hate when you miss, like, a checkpoint. You go... You try to cut it as far on the inside as you can... And then you miss it, and then you can't, re like, you can't go back. Set myself up on the outside, then. Excuse me, vet. Sorry. I braked because I wasn't sure what was coming up. Come on! You know, honestly, I shouldn't have braked there. I know I, you guys are probably like, Oh my god, you can't rewind! Oh, it's terrible! I, I don't know why I braked at the top of the hill. I thought a corner was coming. I genuinely thought a corner was coming. Come on! Oh yeah. Oh, I need to stop cutting those corners so far inside. Thing is, it's different than, like, actual tracks, because if you cut the corner super inside on an actual track, it's like, oh, you might dip a wheel in the grass. On this, it's like you might fall off to your death and doom and lose the race. Damn, 599. Ooh. All right, go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn, normally I'm the one that's gaining ground through the... Jesus! Gain the, gaining ground through the loops. Oh, use the all-wheel drive to pull out of it. There we go. Hey! Uh-oh. Wow, wow, it plowed so far wide, just randomly, too. It was like I lost a ton of front grip all of a sudden. Come on, get that 48. You're next, bro. You are so next. Here she goes. Oh, my God. Oh, I need to stop with... I know, I know, I know, I know. Because I know the comment section is going to be full of... The, oh, the rewinding. I know. I just... Oh. Put it this way, it's really hard not to rewind occasionally when a lot of the tracks that we're doing, I've, like, you, you're having to learn them firsthand, you know what I'm saying? And you also can't say that, like, well, 
I'm sure there are some of you guys that never use rewind, but you can't really say that you never use rewind and never restart a race and always win. I mean, like, there might be a couple of people, but that's super rare. Excuse me, 488. Oh, yes. Power out. I forgot how well the Huracan puts its power down. I really did. I really, really did. Such a beast. Get the jump. Oh, dude. Oh, I can carry a lot more speed through there than I originally thought. Damn. Little bit of braking. There we go. It's so like a little bit of modulation and adjustment under braking. Oh, we should get that 40. No pro Oh, yeah. We're going to get the 40,000. No problem. Oh, yeah. Challenge done. This, this, oh, it tightens. It tightens a lot. Yeah, it tightens a hell of a lot there. A lot more than I thought it did. All right, into fourth. Staying in, dude, just like, you can stay on power so much in this car. Trying to take these apexes properly. Especially trying not to... Oh, God. Okay, didn't really take that one properly, but you know what? I have enough time in reserve with the other guys that I can just go ahead and stay here. A little bit of slow in, fast out. Okay. Too wide. Too wide. Could have been better. And just because, oh yeah, just because a massive e-drift before we cross the line, that was a fun race. That was a really good way to finish this episode off. I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Totally okay with finishing this episode off that way. But, um, and actually, we'll, we will have reached another target after this. Oh, that's perfect then. We'll get our wheel spin out of the way. And, oh, okay. Dude, 200,000 credits, sweet. And the cars and tracks were one and two and three, done. Really know how to design a novelty horn. Ooh, new horns, hell yeah. All right, so when we get to 60, that's S2. Uh, right now we have unlocked horns, which we're gonna check out in the next episode, but, oh. Toys and come and collect this Ford. Oh, come collect the Ford Deluxe. Events, boss? They tell me these are the craziest yet. I really don't know why they need to just keep saying that. <laughs> You're right. All right, so in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and keep getting more and more and more events completed. We're also going to be trying out that Ford Deluxe, and we may be building it, and hopefully we can build it into something crazy. But if you guys enjoyed this episode of Forza Horizon 3 Hot Wheels, don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.